you're juggling seven or eight classes worth of homework. It'll be very relaxing to see three objects moving through the air simultaneously. Juggling greatly improves hand-eye coordination. And if that's not enough, well, heck, juggling's fun. <laughs> you may be interested in how I first became interested in juggling. Last summer, while in Connecticut, I had two roommates who were coincidentally both jugglers. While they were practicing juggling clubs and passing six balls, I would pick up their bean bags and try juggling, dropping them very often. To begin juggling, throw one ball back and forth between your hands in a figure eight pattern, like ice skating. Once you can throw the ball consistently back and forth between your hands in a fluid motion, move on to two. When one re reaches its peak, throw the next. Practice starting with each hand. When you feel comfortable with two, throw in the third. It may seem as if I've oversimplified this, so let me give you some techniques to remember while first learning. Always juggle in a plane in front of yourself, not with depth. Juggling is very symmetric. Do not rely on your dominant hand. And most importantly, practice. If you don't practice, whether learning the basic three ball cascade or designing your own difficult tricks, you'll never get them right. But if you do practice, there are many variations on simple three ball juggling which you can try. Reverse cascade, shower, clawing, juggler's tennis, Various interesting pauses. Recoveries with your feet. And if you have a set of bouncing balls, you can even try juggling downwards. Start with one, throw in the second, 